Okay, let's have some more examples of the disk, disk method. Suppose you had, let's say you just took the first lump of sine, y equals sine of x from 0 to pi, and you rotate that around the x-axis, and you get some sort of weird lump. The volume is pi times the integral from 0 to pi of the sine of x squared dx. Now we don't know how to find the sine of x squared, so we'll leave it at that. Suppose you had you had the square root of x. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. y equals the square root of x, and you just wanted some little bit of it from 3 to 7. And you took that area, and you rotated it around the x-axis, and you got some sort of weird lumpy thing like that. Well, what is its volume going to be? The volume is going to be pi times for the integral from 3 to 7 of the square root of x squared dx. Well, that's easy because that's the integral of x. But I'm just showing examples. Let's not go through all the calculations just now. Let's go to something a bit more complicated. Let's say we want to have not just a single function, but let's say we have the function 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. We take our old favorite parabola, y equals x squared, and let me write that somewhere else, y equals x squared, and we take this line, y equals x plus 2, which when we were talking about areas between curves, we we've did it several times, things that look like this, because it's very, very easy to see that they intersect at negative 1 and at 2. And let's say we wanted to, to rotate just this area around the x-axis. Well, it's actually really, really easy. What we do is we take the top function, y equals x plus 2. If we rotate that around the x-axis, we will get, it goes down how far, that one's not so bad, it goes down as far as 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, to there, to there. You take this whole thing, and then we subtract out what we get by rotating this bit around. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job of, of illustrating this. Uh, what we want, what we want is the blue area rotated. And it's going to come down like this. And it's almost going to have a hole in it. Can you see how it almost has a hole in it? Right there, it comes down infinitely thin. If there is the slightest little bit of a hole there, maybe water would leak through or something like this. Um, you could definitely rest things in it. There's a bit of a groove there. There's a bigger groove there. Anyway, the volume is, it's pretty simple. If we, well, we can just integrate the outer one, the integral from negative 1 to 2 of pi times x plus 2 squared dx and then subtract out the part that we don't want, the integral from negative 1 to 2, pi of x squared squared dx. But of course, because we do have the same limits of integration, and we, we can factor out a whole lot of stuff, this is the integral from negative 1 to 2 of pi x plus 2 squared minus pi x squared squared dx. Yes, I could simplify it, but I what I want to point out, and you can pull the pi out front, negative 1 to 2, put the pi out front, x plus 2 squared minus x squared squared dx. What I want you to realize is that, and then you could just cal calculate this out, that if you had something like the integral y equals f of x, and you had the integral, the curve, and you had another curve, woof, y equals g of x, and you wanted to rotate the area between them 
between A and B. Now, maybe you got A and B by finding out where they intersected, or maybe someone just gave them to you. And you rotate, let's see, if you wrote this, uh, rotate this around the x-axis, it's a little bit interesting because we're totally going to have a hole in it. How does it go? It goes away. And this one kind of comes down like this. We're going to have something with holes in the middle. Can you see that? That, uh... Oh, I never gave my favorite example. I never gave my favorite example. Aish! Anyway, I'll finish this and then I'll give my favorite example. What it turns out to be is the volume is the integral from A to B of, put the pi out front, f of x squared minus g of x squared dx. The outermost one and minus the innermost one. And, just as with the areas between curves, if you're not 100% sure which one's on top, absolute values. Ah, the example I was, I'll give the example in class. This should work for now.